All right, campers, it is time to create our weather system. And basically, this is just a sphere that uh, will cause damage if you're outside of the sphere. You got your player will get damage. If your player's inside, no damage. Okay, it's very common in battle royale games to try to draw the players to the center of the map. So that's what we're going to try to do too. And uh, I'm going to begin with right clicking and creating. And I'm in my main content here, uh, new folder, and I'm just going to call this weather. There we go. Uh, double click on there. And now we have to actually create what the um, giant sphere looks like. So that's material. So I'm going to right click here, go to materials and textures, material. I'm going to call this weather mat. And mat is short for material. There we go. I'm going to double click on it. If you need to dock it, go ahead and dock it up here. I'm going to drag off a base color here. And we're going to type in a vector parameter. And basically, this is just a way to set color data. All right, notice that this is black. Double click on the black there. It brings up your color picker. I'm just going to choose blue for mine, but you can choose any color that you want. You know, have fun with it. It could be green or red or whatever. All right, and that might take a little bit of time to update from black, but don't worry, it will. Now I'm going to uh, click back on weather mat and that is the only way to get to the right settings here. If, you, if you're still on param, you won't see the same settings. So make sure you click back on the weather mat box. And now I'm going to come down. I'm going to leave surface the same. I'm going to click on the blend mode and change that to translucent. I'm going to check two sided. So if I'm inside and outside, I see the same thing. Then I'm going to come down to my directional. What is that? The directional lighting intensity and change that to point uh, one. OK, point one. And that should change a little bit there perfect now what i'm going to do is come out here and connect that pin to opacity opacity will be grayed out until you go ahead and make some changes okay to your weather mat boom and now i can connect it don't worry it'll disappear that is fine it's supposed to disappear because our alpha channel is set to zero we have to change that and we can do that over here in the parameters parameter group none we're going to open this up and we're going to come down to our alpha channel here and i'm going to set it to something like 0.3 boom just like that and now when it comes back it'll actually be translucent we can see through it and you can play around with this one is means it's solid and anything lower than that like point whatever is translucent and we'll be able to see through it so you can determine how much you want to be able to see through it so i'm going to click save and now what we need to do is create a blueprint okay so that we can uh, do some visual scripting even though we're not going to do visual scripting uh in this session so i'm going to go ahead back to my gameplay map i'm going to uh, right click blueprint class and this will be an actor just like our items. So I'm going to click on actor and I'm just going to call this weather. There we go. I'm going to double click to open this up. Dock it if you need to up at the top. And um, now we're going to add a component. And this is going to be a static mesh component just like that. And uh, we can compile. That's fine. Now we have to uh, determine the visual look of it. And that's in the static mesh. And this is just going to be a sphere. And we're going to use a sphere that's already built into Unreal. So uh, right here, I'm just going to type in S-P-H-E-R-E. -E, and I have sphere, just like that. And now I want to be able to select the material. Uh, so let me just move this up for you so you can see this and move it in. There we go. And the material, I'm just going to click on this little down box here and type in my name for my material which is weather mat ah there we go weather mat boom just like that and notice the sphere changes let's go ahead and make this bigger so you can see it again all right so i have my uh my translucent sphere right there and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to translate it down and try to put that scene root right in the middle and you can uh, rotate all around to make sure it's in the middle there we go now we want to uh, set the size of this and i'm going to set the scale to world scale so if you click on this little down arrow here instead of relative i'm just going to set it to world scale and this will help us when we're doing our visual scripting and now i'm going to set this to something like 500 and i might have to play around with this but i think for the most part based on the size of the landscape Landscape we're using 500 is going to be a good number so I'm going to click that and yeah it, it gets really big there um, uh, but that's okay okay that's fine let's uh, maybe see if we can let's see if we'll, we'll let us zoom out at all no that's okay it's so big I would have to zoom out so far just to see it look at this I'm trying to zoom out as far as I can there we go okay I kind of got it there um, I'm going to leave it as is. All right. So now that I actually have that in there like that, I want to make sure that it is uh, replicated. So I'm going to go down to replication. Oh, make sure you click on weather. 
And uh, that's where we're going to do our replication. There we go. Replication and replicates. Perfect. And um, let's go to the static mesh and let's just play around with the collisions. Let's set that instead of, uh, no, we don't want anyone to step up on this. Um, but we do want this to be overlapping only the pawn. Okay, we only want this to affect our pawns. So I can go ahead and select that. And I think for all intents and purposes, we're done. So I'm going to hit uh, compile and save. And now I'm going to switch back to my, I'm going to switch back to my world and I'm going to zoom out here. And watch this. I'm just going to kind of take this and drag it right in the middle. And it should be big. Should be really big. So I'm going to have to zoom out. I'm using my middle scroll button. And now I'm just going to center that. And it kind of looks okay. It might be a little bit too big. So I might have to change the size. Uh, yeah, I might have to go back into my blueprint and change the size. Okay, yeah, it's way too big. So uh, I can go back into my weather blueprint, go back up to here, and I, I can bring this down to something like 400 and see what that does. And it's changing all these values, if you notice, because this is locked right here. When it's locked, it scales proportionately. So compile, save, and now if I go back out, okay, that's good. See how it changed the size? Um, and now I can kind of bring this up a tad. And I have my sphere. It is ready to go and ready to shrink. Okay, so go ahead, have some fun creating your giant weather system, and then we're going to visual script it so that it actually shrinks in certain intervals, and your player will incur some damage, right? So uh, don't forget to save, and I'll see you guys in a little bit.